Hi, it's Maya here, and today I'm going to talk about the top 10 shortest books on my TBR. I recently did a video about the top 10 longest books on my TBR, so I thought, why not look at the shortest ones as well? Most of these are under 300 pages, but I had to add a couple of books that are over just to make it a round top 10. So I'm going to go from the longest ones to the shortest ones, and at 10 I have Masks and Shadows by Stephanie Burgess, and this is 314 pages. This is a historical fantasy book set in 1779 Hungary, and I picked this up for my birthday. I showed this in my birthday book haul because I was really feeling like historical fantasy. And this one also features, I think, opera singers or at least music in some way. And I really like fantasy books that sort of feature the arts in some way. So this has music and magic and I'm looking forward to it. Then I have Patricia A. McKillips, The Signet and the Firebird at 309 pages. And this one I can't read because I picked this one up at a used bookstore at a book festival and I later learned that this is the second book in a series. So at first I need to read The Sorceress and the Signet, I think it's called. I think my library has it. So I need to read that one before this one. But I just picked it up because I really like the cover. It has dragons, it talks about a firebird, and it is by Patricia A. McKillip. And she does this sort of, I want to say lyrical fantasy. Anyway, I have read one of her books before, Ombria in Shadow, and I really want to read more. Then I have a young adult book, the only one in this list, I think, and this is In the Age of Love and Chocolate by Gabrielle Zevin. Sounds and looks a bit cheesy, doesn't it? But anyway, I have read the first book in this trilogy, which I don't remember what the trilogy is called, but the first book is All These Things I've Done, and I have read it, and it was a really quick read. I read it in one day. It's set in this future where chocolate is outlawed and the main character is part of this crime family who deals in chocolate and I found it to be quite fun. I like the main character but it has been so long since I read the first book that I need to reread that then read the second and the third. This one doesn't actually have that many science fiction elements, it's just set in the future. Then I have a middle grade book and this is The Perilous Guard by Elizabeth Mary Pope, which I just saw, showed in a haul. This is 280 pages. So this one is a book that Goodreads kept recommending to me. I hadn't heard of it before. And this is historical fantasy set in Scotland or at least somewhere in the in Britain and this one has fairies. So I think that mix of historical fantasy and fairies is what made uh, Goodreads recommend it to me. So since it sounded interesting, I just went ahead and bought it. Next, I have a book that I have just bought. I haven't even showed it in a haul because I haven't bought that many other books. And this is The Day of the Three Feeds by John Wyndham. I have read The, the Midwich Cuckoos and The Chrysalids by Wyndham before, and I really enjoyed those. And this is one of the other ones that I really want to read. And I think this is about plants starting to take over or there are plant aliens or something. I can't remember. I love these covers, I love these editions, and I want to read some more Windham. I really like his writing style, it's very easy to read. Next one is a science fiction novel, and this is The Forever War by Joe Haldeman. This is considered a science fiction classic, I believe, and this one has 271 pages. I picked this up at the used bookstore quite a while ago, and I think this is about people going to war on other planets and when they come back a lot of time has passed. But I have since heard this might have some homophobic elements, so that has sort of put me off the book a bit. But I think I will still read it and see what is going on with that. At 260 pages there's Magic Bites by Ilona Andrews and this is the first book in an urban fantasy series and I've heard that it's quite a good urban fantasy series. It has a world where there are these waves of magic, so when there's a wave of magic, um, technology doesn't work, and then when the wave passes, technology returns. And the main character is Kate Daniels, and she is a mercenary that deals with magical problems, and I think there's vampires, and that's all I know. I don't know why there is a lion on the cover, but I think that I will find out when I read it. Then there is Death in the Clouds by Agatha Christie. This is an Hercule Poirot book that has 223 pages. This is the next book that I need to read in the Hercule Poirot reading challenge that I'm doing. I'm just reading the books in order. And this one is one that I quite vividly remember from the TV series. I watched the TV series with David Suchet as a kid so many times and I really love it. So this one I think I remember quite well, but, but this is the next one in the Poro reading project that I'm doing. The second shortest book on my TBR is Hangs the Man by Shirley Jackson. 
this is a horror book that I started reading once and then I felt didn't feel like I was on the right mood to read it so I put it down and I haven't picked it up since but this is about a young girl who has a really vivid imagination and I got to a part where there was a sexual assault and that is where I stopped but I will read this when I feel like I'm in the right mood so I really like Shirley Jackson. I have read We Have Always Limited the Castle and The Haunting of Hill House. And I really love The Haunting of Hill House. So I definitely plan to read more of her works. And the shortest book on my TBR is Giants at the End of the World, a showcase of Finnish weird, edited by Johanna Sinisalo and Toni Jerman. And this is a collection of Finnish weird that I got from Worldcon. So this has a bunch of uh, short stories from Finnish authors that are translated into English and it was given to everyone who attended Worldcon at Helsinki. And this one only has 199 pages. This one actually includes the first chapter of Hannu Rajaniemi's upcoming novel Summerland. So I think I will read that first and then read the other stories. So these are the top 10 shortest books on my TBR and it isn't even that hard to hold up 10 books when they are this short. But anyway, that's all from me for now and I will see you in my next video.